Hello there, welcome to another video. And to in this video, we will gonna develop tic tac toe game in Python 3. So let me show you the interface of game which we will gonna develop. Okay, now this is the interface of our game. This is the instruction area which will print every time and stay on top. Now this is the board where we will place our character or you know players. There are only two players, X or O. Okay. And the player X will get the first chance and the player O will get the second chance. For example, the X will enter 2 and automatically the board will update it with the position 2 and have a X. Now O will insert 3, then the board will automatically update and have a O character on there. So and the game will goes on and on. Now our board has updated with characters X and O on second and third respectively. But what happens if a player tries to enter character that have already a place? So for example 2, then it will show that the place is already have a character. Now when I enter 5, then it will accept the character on the position of 5. You can see the place 5 has updated with the character X. Now what happens if user or X wins? So the game will stop and the message pop up that X character won. Now let's directly jump to the code. So this is the code. Actually this is a basic code which will print every time when you refresh the page. This is the instruction which will print every time. Let me show you. Okay. Okay, this instruction is same as this instruction. Okay, now this is the vector list. You can say the positions or the, you know this these positions are these. So first of all initially the, the list is blank or the board positions is blank so that's why I put a space between them. Okay, and this is the board. You can see that I just initialize the these position with these vectors indexes and whenever any user inserts any character like this then the board will update it and I will update the index according to that character which the user will insert here so this is the basic code now let's code further so that our game will have some functionality now here I will define my main function so that our game will start uh, executing some code. Okay, so main. Okay, now think about the game. There are only nine places or nine turns you can say uh, on the board where the player will insert or get the turns. So what I mean by this is that uh, let me show you. I will write a for loop here for i in range of 9 so every time the loop uh, starts again then only the user can insert 9 times ok insert or get a turn uh, 9 times maximum so x and then y then x and y like this so for i in range of 9 and now the first player will get the character x and the second player will get the character O. So for that, and I here defines the terms. So if I is uneven, so I is equal to divided by two is equal to zero. Equal to zero. It means if it is even, then the character X get the chance. Okay. Character, character is equal to capital X. And else if I is an odd number then the character O will get the chance. Now till now we just uh, declares or just programmed or terms that uh, x will get chance then o then x then y. Now 
we will print our instruction and we will print our board here and below let me call my main function okay main Okay guys, I just made a mistake here. This is not is instance. This is instruction. Okay, this is instruction. Now let's run the code. Okay, you can see that our board and instruction printed nine times. Now I'll just clear the screen so that it will look like our demo code. Okay, but first let us accept some input from the user X and user O. So for that, I'll define a, uh, a function called user input here. User input. Okay. And pass a parameter character or char for x or o. And inside this function, I'll accept the in type of input from the user. Okay. That is the place of the board. So where you want to insert character percent s and then care percent s for string. So this is string manipulation. Okay. Now there are conditions that I told you earlier that if user want to insert a character at a place which is not exist on the board okay uh, out of 9 or less than 9 less than 0 sorry so if user input i mean u is less than equal to 0 okay which is a negative number or a u is greater than 9 then what will happen we will print a message okay print that um, what will print uh, you are out of the box, okay? So you are out of the box, okay? And we will simply return false here, okay? Return false. And under that, we have again a condition that if a vector or list have u minus one is equal to any character that is x or o. Uh, but why I do that because index start from 0 so that I use u minus x or, or v u minus x has a o character uh, then it will print that the players already have a character okay players already have a character okay and simply we will again return false here so return return false now if everything goes right then we will simply return u it means user input okay now return u okay now we just completed all user input function now below that we just create a new variable user and call our user input function here so user input and we'll pass the character here okay and now you can see that there are only nine nine more chances that the user will have so for that if the user insert any wrong character then our, our chances will get decreased and uh, player will not get sufficient chances so for that we have to use while loop so while user is equal to false then we will again call the function user input and we will call this until it's returned an integer value okay so and we will again do this okay until this returns a numerical value Now we will decrease the user input by 1 because the index starts from 0. So user is equal to user minus 1. Okay, this one. Okay, now we will just insert the character of user on the place where user wants. Okay, the place is what? User. 
display the number that user gave to us. So for that V or or list V and the place or index is zero now. Okay, and we will just initialize it with the character that we have uh, uh, stored in that. Okay, the character may be X or Y. So far we done so much. Now let's run the code and see what is going on. So this is our instruction board printed exactly what we need. And now we just insert the character two, and then oh, we get the five. Let me try the conditions. Okay, working. And now just eighty five because it's out of the box. Exactly what we want. So. This is working great. Now let's jump to the code again. Okay. Okay. Now we have to import a module that is OS module. So import OS. Okay. It will help us to clear our screen. So in our main loop, every time when our loop and then we want to clear our screen so os.system then clear and now when or before our main loop again same code os.system clear system clear okay this looks good now let's again run the code yep this is working all line is and now our game looks perfect for us and with all conditions and all that stuff okay okay let me show you one thing that uh, if any player won the game okay so let me won this player now here let me won the x okay but x won you can see that x won the game but still the uh, game is uh, executing okay why is not shopping because we doesn't define any one function or any one statement here now let me show you the winning conditions on this game okay let me draw the board first 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay. so why i started the index from 0 because index of list start from 0 okay so that's why i number this from 0 now you can see that if a user gets the three characters same diagonally then this is a warning con win condition okay? for example if the player gets like this all characters then this is the three winning statement okay and if the player will get vertically all the three characters same then this is also a winning condition this is four five and six and if any user will get same character like vertical like this then this is also our winning condition so now these are the eight winning conditions and we will code like this okay now let's just code this thing i just wrote all the code for you and don't worry about the code i'll explain you i just passed this list of characters of the positions and I just wrote all the winning statement okay if the 0 1 2 3 4 5 these are the places have any character x x x and o o o all the characters same then the player won the game okay this is simple okay Now under that we just want to call our bonds bond function so that we can check every time when you goes that if any player won or not. Okay. So true false value we will store the result in true false value TF. So TF bond and then if our TF variable is true. We will print that the character one. Okay, the character may be in the next one. 
nuestro character percent as false ok ok and again string manipulation percent character ok and now we simply just break out from this loop ok so that all game stops here so this is our whole code we wrote and now let's again run the code and see final output so this is our instruction this is our board this is our input area three oh, oops what's there okay 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 so the error is that uh, the one function wants an argument okay but we are not passing anything so here our list goes v and all goes right so this is our game and two three four and one so this says that the character one and this is our game so guys this is all about this game I hope you like this video and if you like this then give it a thumbs up and please do share and please subscribe this channel. See you guys in the next video.